Hey guys, Jay Prada Performance. Um, all right, just a quick one here. So I get this question a lot, and oddly enough, it's a lot of shops, and I hate to keep picking on shops, but if you're not familiar with high performance work, you probably shouldn't take it on. Uh, but anyways, let's let's help you out here, or try to help you out here on these deals. Um, this is a C6. These aren't typically much trouble with this, but so what we've got here is our trans brake is an external solenoid and a lot of other people use this as well. This is pretty typical. And what that means is the solenoid right here, this is the trans brake solenoid, this goes in place of where the vacuum modulator used to go. So a couple of things you need to check when you install these, you know, a lot of get a lot of, oh, well, the trans brake's not engaging or trans brake's engaged all the time or I don't know how to put the valve in, uh, et cetera, et cetera, uh, various issues there. But uh, so what you want to make sure, first things first, you see this ridge here, make sure this is all the way up against the case and there's a little gasket or an o-ring seal here depending on which one you got and make sure the seals there and make sure this goes up against the case uh, there's a rare case on these c6s that the hole isn't drilled all the way through and the solenoid doesn't go all the way through so this will not touch if that's the case what you're gonna have to do is get a 9 16th drill and you need to drill through the case all the way through to here you don't want to touch into this, but just in where basically where the pan rail is, uh, you're going to need to drill that all the way through with a 9 16th drill. So this solenoid will fit in properly. Uh, it's not a very common scenario. It's like a, a ribbed 385 series case that would be like a 1971, 72, right in the changeover period. So for some reason they only drilled this halfway or something and these solenoids are not designed for that. So just an oddball thing you may run into. So one thing I want you to make sure of when you install this, this is the plunger and this is this gets sucked in when you apply voltage to it. And I'm just doing it by hand, but this should come in and out and spring back on its own. And real important when you push this in it should touch the body of the solenoid make sure it's not sticking out a little bit like that where it's binding up uh, maybe not binding up is the right word but bottoming out somewhere else like in the in the valve or spring area or something you want to make sure that this actually bottoms out against itself so that's real important if, if this doesn't touch the body you're gonna lose holding power and that's real critical so what'll happen is this hydraulic load on this in this particular one that opposes this with the spring as well and what'll happen here is you know if you're only say here or something you're not up against the body because this is a magnet it's just a little big electromagnet and um, what'll happen is you won't get the full holding power of the solenoid if it's not touching so and then when you probably when you gas it or even maybe anytime you have hydraulic load it just it's just going to push this off so another thing to check too if you have a situation where yeah it, you know the trans brake doesn't seem to hold well if you can get a get this on the lift or a camera or underneath the car or something and just look see if this is actually getting pushed off hydraulically Sometimes that happens. These get, sometimes these can get weak or it's a situation, like I said, where you're not able to clamp it up all the way and hydraulic pressure will actually push this off. So that's just something to check. Now, I don't know if you can see, but now this is at the uh, rest position or trans brake off. Now you see this land here that I'm pointing to and this space here. We want a good good amount of space here. This is to vent off. We're basically venting off this first passage. We want this to go to vent and we want good vent. And what I mean is, if you look at that valve, I'm gonna close it up. See how like right there, 
it's just barely open we don't want to see that we want to see nice you know a nice amount of distance there to, just to really let that vent run free so another thing I want you to notice is the spring is in this window and the spring goes inside the hole that's drilled in the valve so that's going to go in like that now if we look at this second window here I'm going to push the plunger in and I want you to see how that opens in okay so we're closed off out here which is good this is trans break on now and then if I can position this better right there's pretty good you can see you can see how that opens up into there nice so what that's doing it's connecting this passage with this passage and blocking it here so the oil is transferring between these areas this is your pilot and that means this is where the pressure comes in and when the trans brake is in the off position the pilot oil is trapped in here and then this position here this is what goes to your direct clutch to make the trans brake come on uh, sometimes also a little reverse clutch depending on the design and this should be open so pilot shut off and this is nice and vented so anything that may be leaking past here or anywhere in the circuit is easily vented off this is important so that you don't have this thing trying to lock up high gear when you're trying to drive or anything so and then when it's engaged again we want to make sure that this is blocked off so the oil is transferring between these two passages now and you can see that you can see that open up nice in there we want to have you don't need a lot opening into there but you know at least a good 20 30 thou would be nice and that's that um, guess the only other thing I should mention is on this wiring here uh, some people ask this question which one's positive which one's negative doesn't matter just an electromagnet so polarity doesn't matter on it so don't worry about that and I think that's it hopefully that kind of helps you guys out with this and uh, you need to understand this if you're going to install trans brakes especially if you're a shop and you're going to install trans brakes and something other than a power glide this is this is a C6 it's a little bit different of an animal and do all these checks of course before the valve body's in so you can so you can see in here and watch what's going on okay that's all I got thanks for watching